Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace, and this is the place where we ask, how am I choosing the way of Jesus, or am I choosing my own way? Our foundational passage this week is found in Romans chapter 13, verses 11 through 14. The way of Jesus is to wake up today, is our focus. Verse 11 and verse 12, part of the first part of verse 12, we read this, and do this, understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber, because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. Now, the day Paul is talking about here is the day of Jesus' second coming. And as we celebrate Advent, we need to be readying ourselves for Christ's return. So we need to wake up. I asked the question yesterday, have you been lulled asleep by the rhythms of this world? You might ask what I mean, and that's a fair question. Here's what I mean. Have you become so comfortable in the living our day-to-day -day lives that perhaps we've lost focus on the call to be ready? Well, to be ready, we have to be awake, right? Matthew 24, 43 says this, but understand this, if the owner of the house had known what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. Are you on watch? Are you awake? Are you ready? In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 through 3, we read this. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates we do not need to write to you. For you know very well, the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape. We do not know when Jesus comes again. And Paul directly says Jesus will come when we least expect it. We may not be saying to one another peace and safety. I ask you again, are we ready? Are we awake? What do we need to do in order to be ready? Paul says to the church at Ephesus in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 20, to verse 11, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Read this entire passage. And allow the Holy Spirit to lead your thoughts as you ask yourself, am I ready? Am I awake? My friends, the way of Jesus is to wake up. Are we awake? I pray that as you prayerfully consider what I've shared here today, that you will do some biblical exploration. Look at these passages in full. Read them in full and invite the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word. Have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths. And then take a step of faith with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit leads you to do today. What will you do with what you've learned here today? Are you awake? Are you ready? I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.